where the Mars on the Sun is not going to be a passive person. He's not going to be. See that now the Mars hits. The Mars is hitting all the angles. So the midheaven in the career, it's in Taurus. It's sextiles, Saturn and Venus. So it's really nicely aspected to the ruler of Venus, the Taurus. Make money, be busy. It's very successful business. It's square Mars. So the Mars series is a drive to push the extra bit, to force an issue, to force a deal, to make, they'll have to come around. We'll force this on them. We'll force that. The aggression tends to go towards, to, he works hard to make it, he's busy to make his status. He pushes hard for it, but he pushes in ways that creates enemies. He pushes in ways that doesn't, it takes too much of his energy to do it. And so he can be flippant in his use of power, but he's not tolerant in how other people do things for him. And minute there's a problem, he's quick to he's quick to turf his friend, his friends and his people, or disown them. That's a funny balance here. Um, the reason they gave the kings of old, the emperors of old. A virgin of days, by the time they dealt with the virgin of day, they were so mellowed and peaceful they could never think aggressive and they couldn't fight wars or other things because they're just too peaceful. Well, <laughs> yes, it's Leo, as much he thinks he can do anything, he can think he can do the possible. So his identity is to do more than he's actually capable of doing, in which case he'll go do it and then there'll be the undertow, the backlash, the cost. Whether it's the auto industry, you see the repercussions. How can it not put, put the price of American cars up so much? Everyone will buy the Japanese cars because they're not going to spend the 25% more to buy an American car. You know, like it's too, it's, so he's behind the scenes in what he's doing, so we don't really know, but that Mars on the Ascendant ties it in, the Mars squaring his mid and he'll fight for power. He'll fight, he'll push. It's aggressive, it's assertive. Saturn holds him steady, so he'll fight for his cause or his his friends or who he believes is his friends. But he's kind of isolated in his own power, in his own thinking, in his own way, in his own ta Trump is isolated in his own tower. Okay. When we get to the the descendant, his descendant trines his son. His role, his relationship looks good. There it is. But supposing his Mars, his Mars in the 12th house, actions, undermining actions that affect the relationship. He's with his wife. It's might be challenging enough to be cross-cultural, but at the same time, that's it's Aquarius on the Aquarius on the descent, and it's ruled by Saturn, which we had the Saturn effect, the conservative wanting a fix, but it's unconventionally Saturn. It's the Aquarius that's true. He's strategic around relationships and partnerships. It's, he's not going to be the most showy. He's going to be practical, follow a plan, have a serious plan around relationships. But it's opposed by Mars. So there'll be battles opposing it. He'll be intolerant to any little failure and anything goes wrong in the relationship. At the same time, his own individual actions having affairs, doing things, he might hold, he might use power in a moment and go against the relationship and cause a lot of stress around it, which he would control because he has the money. So this chart, it's easy to control people by money, but it's hard to trust people permanently or to get the loyalty or support. You would figure if they cuts off the money, cuts off the job, they lose everything they've lost being with me, They've fallen off the earth. Not that there's any other jobs other than with Trump. I chose I chose to do his chart. We're going to do a few famous people's charts, and um, but I just chose it because he's such a puzzle in the world today, and so predominant in his media use. And. He has such strong followers and such strong people feel so strongly for him or against him. He has blind faith around his followers. 
the disgust and repulsion by his enemies. So these extremes are building up. It's unlikely that he wouldn't, he's, it's hard to think of his temperament not pushing things to the maximum until something blows, till it gives. You know, he, at most, he has eight years that he could be president, at most, six more years. But it's possible he may only have four. But what's after presidency? Would there still be controls on what he can do or what he can't do? Would people still be concerned about him and his friendship with the Russians or with North Korea once he's out of the presidency? Boy, if he were out of the presidency, he'd be able to make decisions without anybody minding his business. He becomes a, a security risk once he's not in presidency. He's a security risk in presidency. But he's going to run it his way. It's the only way he could do it. But his own foundation, the moon opposed the sun, is likely to rebel against him. As soon as he makes some decision that the majority of people fall off, it could fall away very quickly. It's hard to imagine because he's made such strong decisions unilaterally up to this point. But even in this, he's lived up to his chart. You can see all these pieces, these branches, and these, these branches of the tree and the things spilling off from them. So if the challenge comes, this is where you get to the study transits and you know things of us. The challenge is if you're going to see someone's chart, you got to see their behavioral, you have to see this complex. Once you see it, how would you advise it? You'd have to counter his vulnerabilities against his strengths. And you try and counter him to allow for the vulnerabilities or to fix some of them and not push the strength so far. Yet his psychology is to push his strength even further so that he overcomes the vulnerabilities and nobody can catch him. By the time he's out of presidency and people are wondering where's Trump or who was it, he'll have done the things he's done and his business will be set up better and things will be set up better around it. <laughs>